Hi everybody, welcome back to another technical demo around the Quarkus application. In this video, I'm going to showcase how to build Reactive JPA with Hibernate Reactive Panache with a Quarkus application. Hibernate Reactive is a Reactive API for Hibernate ORM, supporting non-blocking database drivers and a Reactive style of interaction with the database. Hibernate Reactive is the 1.0 just released, and luckily Quarkus supports Hibernate Reactive 1.0 capability on the Quarkus application development with the Reactive programming interact with the database like a PostSQL and MySQL and MSQL server or something like that. Let's get right into the demo how it works. First of all, we're going to create a new project. Uh, the name is Hibernate React Demo. And then I'm going to add uh, uh, a few extensions which we need to use Hibernate React with Panache, which will really simplify your database uh, transaction development. And also, I need to uh, react to PostgreSQL client to uh, access the PostgreSQL database and then React. Uh, rest easy and the Jackson for reactive for processing JSON format data. So there are four uh, pretty quality extension. You can actually create a project and edit it later. But I'm going to create that project using Quarkus CLI. So change my directory into the generate project and then I'm going to uh, open this project using VS Code, my ID tool. As you can see, the full extension already pulled down on your local file system during project generation. Pretty cool. And let's go to uh, source directory. There are hello world just generated uh, as default. And then we're not going to use this one. So first of all, we're going to add a new entity uh, Java beans like a flute. And then uh, to specify this Java bean as entity, the annotation entity in a cacheable and extend the panache entity uh, to use uh, active record pattern, which is you don't need to set or gather uh, for your attribute. So there are two constructor for flute and public constructor, and just one more operating constructor to create a new uh, flute data with a specific name. So let's try to modify our resources Java bean here, the endpoint like a flute. And then I'm going to set it an application scope uh, for this application. And now uh, I'm going to add a few uh, Java methods uh, such as CRUD capabilities. So first of all, I'm going to add uh, the list all method, which allows you to retrieve all your data from your database well, with the reactive way. So in order to that, the reactive uh, workers actually use Uni, uh, return uni, the single data or the multiple data like a, a multi uh, return type. When you go to application property, I don't uh, specify any configuration here. The one of the beauty of the Quarkus dev mode, which I wanted to do just a little bit later. So there are no specific configuration in application properties. And then you already uh, added extension for uh, PostSQL, and it will automatically stand up your PostSQL database on your local system. So just to make sure nothing in application properties on my local development environment. And then uh, I'm going to add a few uh, pre-statement like a DDL or DML stuff. So impose SQL file, and I just copy from my cheat sheet to insert a few data using insert command line like a C, uh, SQL query and uh, just edit a cherry, apple, banana. Okay, I just run my Quarkus application as a demo mode uh, using Quarkus CLI. You can actually use a Gradle command line or Maven command line as well. So it takes a few seconds to style the Quarkus application runtime. Uh, in the meantime, as you can see, container is automatic stand up to run your PostgreSQL uh, database. You don't need to use a Docker CLI for your demo. And then uh, when you go to uh, Dev UI, when you press the D key on your terminal window, and you can find a few extensions already edited, and then there are Hibernate ORM, and then there are a few helpful tips how to create your database or drop database using script file. And then here is the default table name we edited in our uh, import SQL. And then here the rest is the reactive extension uh, provides some kind of uh, nice dashboard and the endpoint like a flute. I just made it. And the, here is a uh, scoreboard 
uh, to showcase the reactive application endpoint performance perspective. Okay, it looks good. And then try to access endpoint we just made it uh, to list the all flow data uh, using HTTP PI tool. You can actually use the curl command as well. And HTTP 8080 and the flows, we have a three uh, data like a cherry, apple, banana. Let's try to add a few more uh, methods uh, to handle crowd capabilities. So I'm going to uh, retrieve a specific uh, data, not all, uh, which you need, I need to pass down like a parameter ID. And the find by ID, this is a, sort of a good example when you use uh, active record pattern of the Panache. It's just uh, you can use the entities of find by ID. You don't need to use the pre-statement and the complex SQL uh, logic. So this is a pretty simple. And then I try to retrieve all three uh, existing data, cherry, apple, banana. And then I just pass down one uh, ID, like ID1, in which you just return only cherry. And then I'm going to pass down two ID, and then it will return only apple. So pretty easy. There is no specific uh, SQL logic, but just using an uh, active pattern. Uh, this is one of the uh, beauty of the Panache uh, extension on Hibernate. Okay, let's try to add up two more methods. Uh, we just uh, create a new data, like a, a, a create method, and then always return time uni, just re uh, or a multi for your reactive application. All right, and then Panache, reactive hibernate Panache actually provide a transaction method here, like a, a fluid your uh, entity and a persistent and replaced with the response to like a return like okay status and then I'm going to add one more and the last method to delete existing data so annotation delete and then uh, needed to uh, specify specific ID and also the delete method and here is a rest path annotation which allows you a pass down parameter from a RESTful API. And then once again, we're going to use a Panache with a transaction and then just upload a uh, delete ID. This is one of the good example. You don't need to use actually delete uh, from your entity name, just like a SQL uh, pre statement you're going to actually normally use in a Hibernate ORM. And then I just set it up the uh, response code, like a state of no content and then the build the return response thing. Okay. So almost done, and I just add one more thing to add response OK with the status, uh, such as uh, non not found, because this is some kind of uh, defensive code. Sometimes you pass down a wrong ID. So in that case, I'm going to add that uh, business logic. So once again, uh, let's find out uh, the old fruits here, cherry, apple, banana. And then I'm going to retrieve the specific uh, loop based on ID. And let's try to add a new uh, fruit here. Uh, pass down name orangey because I already created a constructor with only name. And I just create a new one and ID automatically generated based on Panache. And then uh, I'm going to try to uh, get retrieve all data. And then you can find the new orangey fruit. Just edited my database in the PostSQL running on my local machine. Use container based on our Quarkus Dev services. And now we're going to delete one, uh, one of the uh, flu, like a first one, uh, which uh, could be Apple. And then, oh yeah, Cherry. And then we're going to try to delete Apple as well. The Apple ID is two. And then delete the two. And then we're going to have only uh, two flus, a banana, a range. Today we're going to run how to build the reactive application to interact the database as you can have a PostSQL using Quarkus, Hibernate Reactive, Panache, and Hibernate ORM, which is really easy for developer uh, to uh, implement the data transaction uh, business logic, like uh, create, delete, update, and also uh, read all data, uh, just like the normal Java APIs. Thank you for watching. Have a good rest of the day.